Hello and welcome to Infinity. In version 1.7, which is still in beta, it is now just before Christmas 2018, um, the HSL uh, adjustment has been changed. So this is a look at that and where it is at the moment. Uh, it's still in beta, so it's possible it'll change again. If I go help about here, you can see up there 1.7.0.209 which gives us an indication of what version it is. So let's have a look. Let's start off with the original one, just a quick refresh on what HSL does, which is of course hue, saturation, and if I bring that up here, luminosity, though sometimes it's called luminance or lightness or just something else. Um, <clears throat> and this lets us change overall colors, which we use sometimes, usually just a small tweak. We can increase the saturation and turn it down. Of course, we can always mask so we only get part of the picture. And we can make it all go to white or all go to black. Let's just put the saturation part way up. So we're going to compare it with the other one. In fact, just for now, we'll put it all the way up. So let's go back to the, the new one now. Now if I get up the new HSL, if you've not seen this before, it'll be a little bit of a shock. Ah, goodness, look at that. It is quite different. Certainly up here, this is the bit that's different. These bits here are the same. So now again, we can change colors relative to one another. And you'll notice here the outside circle changing. It's like the second uh, line in the original. Um, so reset that, and if we can take the saturation down, it goes to monochrome, up it gets saturated, and the bottom goes black and white. So just for a comparison, let's reset that and just turn this all the way up. So if I quickly switch to the other one, it looks pretty similar. In fact, the the new one seems to be just a little bit more saturated, um, if that's possible, but it's maybe it's just a perception. So what's the difference between them? Well, let's continue with this. I'll reset this one again. The difference really comes when it comes into the colors. In the original one, you had drop down menu for this. Now you've got little blobs that you can point to. So let's take Let's say the yellow, and the reason for the yellow is the grass here tends to be yellow, which means I can, if I turn up the saturation on this, you know, I'll see it's just affecting that grass area. Although some of the other things which are also yellow, so you look at this hat here, that's also pretty yellow. But what this, these dots let you do is we can drag these around. In other words, we're making a selection. So it's a kind of like a selective color. I did ask Affinity if you could get this, the, what selection out was an ordinary selection. And they said, eh, no plans to do that. So we've got the control now. We can then push this. In fact, you can push it all the way around. So it starts to pick up on all sorts of other colors as well. So if I turn this around now, it's, it's affecting a lot more, particularly, particularly going into the cyan. See, that's the sky. And what it does is you've got four dots and it means between the, f the two middle ones, this is where it's most concentrated. See, I can also drag the whole thing around, which is, uh, okay, uh, well, that's by grabbing the outside one. And we're, yeah, see, that, that's quite an interesting effect. And we can pull these together. So just focus on these colors and then gradient off to the side here. We've also very usefully got a picker. That appears on a number of the other tools, but I can go and say click up in the sky, and this will leap around to give me a distribution here of the sky. So now when I play with the saturation, I can increase it. I can make it gray. So that's going to be kind of nice. I particularly like this. Something that's missing, however, for those of you who use it is HSV. Let's go to the uh, original. Let's reset that and look what HSV does. In fact, what I'm going to do to show you HSV is better with a, a bar chart like this. So let's bring up the HSL on this. Here we go. 
let's put that over to the side so you can see it. Let's do a reset so we start from scratch. So normally when you take the saturation, you turn it down, everything goes to grey. But when you turn it up, it gets rid of grey. So look at the, the right hand one here. Watch the greys being pushed away. Seems the way it's being pushed away to the so the saturated colour. So that's kind of interesting. But now if I turn on HSV, when I push this up, now look, it's the, the white. This one here is being affected, not the grey. So it's, it's a completely different control. And if I go down all the way, the these go completely white and the blacks and tones are left here. If I take off the HSV, this only goes down to grey. It doesn't go as far as white. And also if I take the HSV on, turn the luminance up, look what happens is it, it turns saturation up uh, on a lot of these and particularly the tones disappear. So the blacks are, are being taken out. So HSV gives an extra bunch of stuff that's quite nice but is not available in the new one. I hope that, that Affinity will put back the HSV and this is just something they're doing whilst they're beta testing it. Let's see. Anyway there you go, I hope that was helpful and thank you very much for watching.